Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the bantamweight bout between Raleigh and Paiva versus Sergey Morozov. And I see one right here is um, there's a good case for um Raleigh and Paiva, but ultimately I'm gonna lean with Sergey Morozov. I feel like Morozov does kind of um crack on the pressure. I feel like he does have definitely as far as going defensively um issues. When he's going back, that chin kind of comes up and like raise up. So you know definitely. That goes on when you've been pressured and you like your reaction, you don't lean back. You get cracked just for the fact that somebody's putting the pressure on you, you can't maintain that pressure. Or for the simple fact when you, your tendency to back up with your head straight up can lead you to get caught at the end of a combination or to get set up to get a fainted out. And then when you rack, they extend the combat, like bring something over top or reach around, catch you leaning back, you know, leave opportunities. But I don't feel like Rowling Piper has not shown to be a knockout threat. He had like what one knockout over what. Mike Delatore or some guy like that, but don't really amount to much. And he kind of, at least kind of goes some, some people's respect in some fights, but it ain't really much case of that he's this knockout fighter or this big knockout threat or this uh, relevant knockout threat. He's not. Yeah. He's not this knockout threat. And I just feel like Sergey Morozov is overall the more around stuff. Like he's definitely the better wrestler. My this big issue that can Raleigh and Piper potentially push him and break him. That's my issue, but I feel like he has that knockout threat. I feel like decent enough submission threat, but I feel like Sergey Morozov should be able to shut him down in every area. And Sergey Morozov looked the best he's ever looked up until he got caught. I think he got a little bit overconfident, a little bit lax. I mean, he was, you know, this, this athlete just running right through um, Douglas Silver Day on drive. Really, it was on path to give him one of the worst beatings he ever had in his career. But then um, Doug Silver Day on drive showed his toughness. Was catch, catch him at blacks, hurt him, and he wasn't able to recover. Like, he got hit like he got hit, but he ain't breathing. But, um, anywho. I just feel like Sergey Moore is all the better wrestler. I feel like he should could control the grappling. You know, if he, I feel like he's a smooth striker. I feel like Paiva isn't really more that much of a technical fighter. He's just a guy that brings intensity and um, that dog in him. He got that dog in him. That's about it. You know, say, like, oh my, his garage is grappling so good. You're not saying that. You're not saying, oh my God, the striking is good. It really ain't there, but like, he's a fighter that just going to bring it. Not good length, decent frame, but skill set ain't nothing really to talk about in no particular area, but the guy brings it, but. Yeah, I feel like this case where Sergio Moore is all probably going to win a decision victory over uh, decision victory. Piper will make it probably sketchy a little bit at times, probably just being aggressive, probably initiating, probably t trying to push the pressure on them. But Moore's all will respond pretty well. I feel like Piper might have a decent rally attempt, but I feel like Moore's all going to fight more composed and, you know, stay, you know, keep his the mental about him in the game and not get laxed out at this time. And he's trying to get back in the win column. I see him winning a decision, competitive decision, but I feel like Morozov should be in control for the most of this fight with some instances where Piper will be to get some get some momentum on the side, but few far in between. And Morozov probably mixing a takedown, probably shut down a guillotine, probably get to like half guard or, yeah, put the seat belt on or put the brake on, whatever you want to call it. Get a half guard and lock it down and just look to neutralize that guillotine or just pass to the um, side control and stop, stop the guillotine. And then probably have Pi with his dog hammer fist off his back, probably even go back standing, probably do some hammer fists and stuff from just like, yeah, while um, Pipe's on the ground in his guard or just on his back. But yeah, just get some little takedowns in there to just to throw off Piper's momentum anytime he gets some. You know, if he just, you know, just being quicker, being sharper, land, clean little short combinations, little short uppercuts in there when Pipe was coming there trying to just windmill in there and beat him to a decision. So in this one, I got Sergey Morozov via decision.